Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, cyclic quadrilateral ABCD inside uh, this uh, circle, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that the side lengths of this uh, quadrilateral uh, are uh, 7, 24, and uh, 20 units and moreover O is the center of this circle and now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, blue shaded region all of this one this uh, this uh, and this combined please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe let me make it very clear that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step let's make an observation we can see that the area of this uh, blue shaded region is equal to the area of this uh, circle minus uh, the area of this uh, quadrilateral uh, ABCD as you can see in this uh, equation. So therefore our task is to calculate the area of the circle and the area of this quadrilateral uh, ABCD. And now let's go over the cyclic uh, quadrilateral and here's the definition a cyclic quadrilateral is a quadrilateral that has all its four vertices uh, on the circle as you can see in our diagram here a b c and d vertices are indeed uh, on the circle and such kind of uh, quadrilateral is also called inscribed quadrilateral and moreover the opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral add up to 180 degrees so that means the angles these ones the opposite angle they add up to 180 degrees and we know that this angle is 90 degrees so therefore this angle has got to be 90 degrees as well and now let's recall the Thales theorem according to this theorem if these points b c and d are distinct point on the circle and this angle is 90 degrees then according to this theorem this line b d is going to be our diameter in other words this line b d is going to pass through this center o let's assume that this o d is our radius r and this b o is radius r as well and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, bcd and we know that this is a right uh, triangle so therefore we are going to use the pythagorean uh, theorem and here's our pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square let me go ahead and call this side uh, a this side b and our longest leg side c let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this pythagorean formula a in our case is 7 so this is going to become 7 square plus b in our case is 24 square equal to c is going to be this whole length which is going to be 2r and then whole square let's go ahead and simplify that is going to give us 49 plus uh, 576 uh, equal to 4 r square so therefore if we add uh, left hand side 4 r square is going to be equal to 625 and if we divide both sides by 4 our r square value is going to be 625 divided by 4 let's go ahead and undo this square by taking the square root on both sides so therefore r value turns out to be positive 25 divided by 2 so thus our radius r turns out to be 25 divided by 2 units and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, another triangle uh, bad now we can see in this triangle this uh, a b length is uh, unknown let me go ahead and call this length uh, x units now we know that this is a right uh, triangle therefore we are going to use the pythagorean theorem once again and here's our uh, pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square let me go ahead and call uh, this side uh, a this side length uh, b and this longest leg as our side c let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, pythagorean formula a in our case is x so this is going to become x square plus b in our case is 20 so this is going to become 20 square and c in our case is 2r 
whole square. So therefore, this equation is going to become x square plus 400 equal to 4r square. And now we know that 4r square equal to 625 that we figured out in our previous step. So therefore, I'm going to replace this 4r square by 625. So therefore, we got uh, x square plus uh, 400 equal to 625. Let's go ahead and subtract 400 from both sides. This is gone. So our x square value turns out to be 225. Let's take a square root on both sides to undo this square. So x turns out to be simply positive 15. So thus our this x length turns out to be positive 15 units. And now let's go ahead and make another observation. The quadrilateral A, B, C, D, this whole area equals to the sum of these two triangle area, this triangle B, C, D area, and this B, A, D area, as you can see in this equation. So therefore, we are going to calculate the area of this triangle B, C, D, and the area of this triangle BAD. And now let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, triangle BCD. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to half times the base times the height. And in our case, uh, our base is 24 and our height is 7 units. So therefore, the area of this triangle BCD is going to be a half times uh, base is 24 times height is 7 and if we multiply everything that is going to give us uh, 84 square units. Now let's go ahead and calculate the area of this another right triangle uh, BAD. We are going to use the very same uh, triangle formula. In our case our base is 20 and our height is uh, 15 units. So therefore the area of this triangle BAD is going to be a half times the base is 20 times height is 15. So therefore if we simplify this thing that is going to give us 150 square units. So therefore the area of this triangle BCD turns out to be 84 square units and the area for this uh, another right triangle BAT is uh, 150 square units. And now let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, equation. I'm going to replace uh, this BCD area as uh, 84 and this uh, BAD area as uh, 150. So therefore this is going to become uh, 84 plus uh, 150. If we add these things we are going to get 234 square units. So thus the area of this quadrilateral ABCD turns out to be 234. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, circle whose radius is uh, 25 divided by 2. Now let's recall the area of a circle formula. Area equals to pi r square. Therefore the area of this circle is going to be pi times our radius uh, is uh, 25 divided by 2 whole square. If we simplify everything on the right hand side that is going to give us uh, 625 pi divided by 4. So thus the area of the circle turns out to be 625 pi divided by 4 square units. And here's our final step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, blue shaded region. And we know that uh, we already figured out our circle area and this uh, quadrilateral ABCD area as well. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So our circle area is right here. 625 pi divided by 4 minus the area of this quadrilateral ABCD is 234. So thus the blue shaded region area turns out to be a 625 pi divided by 4 minus 234 square units and that is approximately equal to 256.9 square units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.